you know, we got we got beat really good today by the best team in our league, uh, by a team that is significantly better than us. Uh, I've never seen a shooting performance like that. Um, 35 assists on 40 baskets. Um, it was a tie game with 7.58 to go. It was 30 all. And then we went one for our next 15 possessions of the basketball. And Damo picked up his third foul. And then it just felt like it was just a, you know, a blistering barrage of threes, with timeouts, everything. We just couldn't contain them. Um, and in the second half, again, they just, you know, phenomenal offensive team. So my credit to them, congratulations to them for winning the A-10 championship. Uh, and now it's time for us to focus on St. Louis. Yeah, I mean, I will be perfectly honest with you. We played way better in the first half in this game than we did down there at their place. We, we played significantly better. It's just when we got to that point, tie game, 30 all, and then it was just, and they shot the lights out of it. They really shot the lights out of it. And it always has to do with us defensively too, but they, they played fantastic. So part of it I'll agree with you on. to try to take away three-point shooting, to try to limit the ball in the high post, get back in defensive conversion, contesting their threes, and rebounding. Jim, what's your view on how your team has progressed this season defensively? We've gotten better, significantly better, since we made the change from man-to-man. -man. We went man-to-man -man today. They scored every possession. We went man. Um, since we made that change from man-to-man, -man, we've been defending significantly better, significantly, especially at home. Uh, which is what surprised me tonight. I mean, at home, we've been holding teams to 38% from the field, holding 68 points a game uh, at home, and that's why it kind of surprised me um, that this got away from us here today. Do you feel like this group in general has progressed? Has, has yeah, anybody that's seen us play mm -hmm. sees this team's gotten significantly better. I mean, we won, what, four in a row prior to today, won three of our last four, uh, four in a row at home. Um, we've gotten significantly better. I mean, anybody that's seen us through the year, it's, it's uh, night and day. They're one of the most they're one of the most efficient, potent, and dynamic offensive teams that I have seen in all my years coaching. And I coached a team at LIU that was number two in the country in scoring and number four in the country in scoring. But we weren't as dynamic as they were. And we scored more than them. We averaged more than them. But these guys, the efficiency at which they play at with ball movement, shooting, they're 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 one of the best passing teams I've ever been around. Um, they're gonna give somebody major problems in the NCAA tournament because you just don't see teams like that. Just don't. Uh, when y'all were, uh, were tied at 30 at, uh, after five shots down there, were you starting to get some kind of a sense that uh, they, you're feeling like your team could maybe keep up? Well, we were, we were trading baskets with them. They're the top three-point shooting team in the conference. We're the second. They're the top tempo team in the conference. We're second. And that's how it played out. It was up and down, up and down, and all of a sudden, when we hit that spurt, again, we didn't guard as well, but it came in the sequence where we went one for 15 to end the half. If we would have had our normal clip, you know, remember, we shoot almost 45% from the field. If we would have had our normal clip, it wouldn't have got away from us that quickly. It was just as much as our offense as it was our defense. How tough is it? What do you say to the players? We're moving on. It's over. That, that game's not going to do anything for us in preparation for St. Louis. Nothing. Nothing. So just move on, get rid of it, focus on resting and focus on getting ready for Brooklyn and St. Louis. They beat us once, we beat them once. That's what our focus should be on. Shouldn't hang our heads. We've gotten better. We're one of the teams in this conference, like Dayton, that's gotten better towards the end of the year going into this tournament. I didn't expect something like this to happen tonight, but throw that right out the window. Lock in and focus on what we got to do to get ready for St. Louis. All right, thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.